What's up, everyone? Check out the Comic Outlaw on YouTube. Yeah, yeah, I'm Jack Slater, aka the Comic Outlaw. You know who I am. And let's go with Silver Surfer number two. Yeah, the Silver Surfer has had his cosmic power stolen from him from high evolutionary, and he's become mortal, flesh and blood. For so long, the echoes in his head have become real as flesh bleeds and breaks. What is the fate of the Surfer? As we go back to his past and he remembers what he lost when he was a man named Norrin Rad and he gave himself to save his planet and become the herald of one Galactus. As he touched the power cosmic and became more than a man, he became the surfer. As he reaches out to the one he loves, embraces her one more time before all of it's forgotten, before the power cosmic totally takes him and she becomes nothing more than an echo, a place where love once existed, as he becomes one with the cosmos, reaching out to everything, being able to sense the energy of the universe, he moves through it, following his master's orders, as his herald, the bringer of Galactus, the bringer of destruction, as he wakes up in a facility, a hospital, no longer the surfer, but Norrin Rad, as he meets a woman named Susie, Susie Indo, who's the captain of this uh, military operation. And his surfer realizes what he's lost. He freaks out. This is the first time that he's been flesh, blood, and he must regain his cosmic power back. He must stop high evolutionary, for he knows what is at stake, and he knows what that creature can do with the power cosmic. And worse yet, the power of Galactus. And Silver Surfer's kind of having a moment where the cosmic's leaving him and he's becoming more and rad and he hasn't been human for so long. He doesn't remember touch, pain, flesh. And he begins to freak out. He begins to move about. He begins to sort of lose his mind as the power cosmic has left him. All these sensations begin rushing through his body, all these ideas, all these feelings. And it's a little too much for him to take. It's a sensory overload and he starts attacking soldiers. He tries to escape. He knows that he must leave with all these weird sensations. The pain in his knee, the blood leaking from his body, the pain in his knuckles. New, strange sensations that were once echoes but are now is real as the blood leaking out of his body as he thinks he was a surfer a cosmic entity and he must get his power back he must stop high evolution he must save his master if only to save himself this world and the universe from this known threat of high evolution but blood leaks flesh breaks as he begins to faint crawling on the floor trying scrapping for every inch trying to find his way back and he remembers the woman that he left the love of his life as he fades falls on the floor and goes in the darkness Norrin Rad has now passed out from the pain but is awakened by Susie and she explains to him what's going on what happened to him, how he lost his power, and he says that he's no longer the surfer anymore, he is Norrin Rad. He is what he was before Galactus touched him with the power cosmic. And now both of them must join together in order to stop High Evolutionary, to stop whatever plan he has with the Silver Surfer's energy, with the energy of the power cosmic. And they have a moment here where they bond and she finds out the real threat is high evolutionary and he is using the power to find something greater to find Galactus's ship Galactus is feeding right now damaged from a fight he had so his ship is unmanned alone and for the taking Susie sneaks the surfer out wearing a uniform and he remembers love and fantasizes for a moment only a moment 
these things are no longer echoes for him anymore. He is now flesh and blood. So they decide to steal a jeep. But the military doesn't exactly want to let the quote unquote silver surfer go, flesh or not. So they have to steal the vehicle and the soldiers begin to open fire. But they must get back to that location. They must get back to the place where high evolutionary stole the power cosmic. It's a good start. So they take off in this hover jet and the surfer decides to drive. And even though he's lost the power cosmic, he's still an experienced pilot and he knows when to take a chance, a risk. And it feels good to have the adrenaline running through his body. For some reason he feels thirsty. She hands him a bottle and he wonders what it is, water. Yes, he's never had water, the breeze through his face. He's forgotten so much, so much he had to give up for the power cosmic. And yet, a ship arrives, Galactus's ship. The ship that ends worlds. The Devourer ship is here, but not Galactus. High Evolutionary has now taken over. This ship taps into the Earth, steals everything, and gives the power to Galactus. But now with High Evolutionary at the controls, things may be different as now. Norrin Rad feels fear. He feels the sweat drip off his face and he knows that he must stop him before he's tapped into the core but instead of destruction something else happens something different change a giant tree sprouts out of nowhere instead of a hole in the ground life sprouts up and what is this new world what are the plans that high evolutionary has for this machine will the Silver Surfer be able to gain his power back and stop him in time before his plan happens and the world changes. We'll find out the next time, won't we? And I'll catch you on the flip side. Yeah.